Hey everyone, this is John. Welcome back to the review on the Fat Hipster channel. Today we're going to be reviewing these two new flavors of Mountain Dew that just came out. This is Mountain Dew Major Melon, and I have it in both the Zero Sugar and the regular Full Sugar Edition. As you can see there, it is Dew Charged with Watermelon. This Mountain Dew has zero uh, juice added to it, so I know some Mountain Dews have orange juice or something like that in. This does not have any of that. Um, of course, the zero sugar has no sugar. It's sweetened with aspartame and sucralose, which are uh, um, Splenda and Equal are the name brands for those. And the regular one is sweetened with high fructose corn syrup and contains 73 grams of sugar which is 146 percent of your daily value. So one of these 20 ounce bottles of this watermelon Mountain Dew is going to give you a day and a half's worth of sugar. Let's go ahead and taste it. Okay. Opening it, immediately hit with super watermelon smells like a Jolly Rancher watermelon. I'm going to see if the uh, zero sugar has the same smell. How many times do I got to twist to open it? So the, the zero sugar one's not as smelly. Um, the smell is the same once you get the uh, the smell in your nose. It's just the regular one is just more fragrant. I'm not sure why that is. Um, let's go ahead and taste the full sugar version. Sweet. Very sweet. Smooth. Definitely has uh, the watermelon flavor they're going for here is definitely the candy watermelon, that Jolly Rancher uh, type flavor. I know it doesn't say it says zero percent juice, but sometimes they use this this term for flavor. It tastes juicy. Sometimes I don't, when I'm eating a, a watermelon Jolly Rancher, it just makes your mouth salivate so much that it almost tastes juicy in your mouth. I like this one. It's very sweet, but the uh, the watermelon flavor it's on point. Let's go ahead and taste the, the Zero Sugar Edition and see if it's just as good or maybe even better. I gotta say, this one tastes so close to the original. And having them back to back really solidifies that opinion. It's just ever so slightly different. Like the sweetness is just like It's more subtle because the original almost has like a syrupy sweetness, and like the the sweetness in this, it's there. I don't know if it's a texture, but 
but they've done a really good job here. So much so that I would say the go-to version is definitely for me the Mountain Dew Zero version because tasting them back to back, it still has that candy Jolly Rancher watermelon flavor, but you don't have 73 grams of sugar, a day and a half's worth of sugar. It's healthier, quote unquote. It tastes almost exactly the same. Um, and you wouldn't even like the that taste better than the original, I think. Anyway, overall, I really like the flavor. I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. And uh, we'll just say that the, zero, the Mountain Dew Zero is an 8.6 out of 10. Just so we can say that that's just ever so slightly better. And better for you. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this review of the Mountain Dew flavor. Let me know if you've tried it. I know there's a few more Mountain Dew flavors that are supposed to come out this year. Hopefully I'll be able to try those out for you as well. Anyway, hope to see you again in the next video. Later. Bye.